Hey, Operation Christmas Child delivers gift-filled shoeboxes to millions of children in need every year. For 30 years, St. Louis families have packed shoebox gifts for boys and girls around the world. One of those gifts reached Elizabeth Groff, and she is with us this morning to talk about her experience. Good morning to you. Good morning. Yeah, and you were a young girl then, living in Ukraine. How did that box affect your life? Well, as a little girl, I was in an orphanage for many, mm -hmm. many years. Um, and when Operation Christmas Child came to my orphanage, I was so excited. This was the first gift that I had ever received. And I remember getting that shoebox and opening it up, mm -hmm. and there were so many different items in there. And my favorite was a bright yellow yo-yo. Oh, my goodness. And that was such a special gift to me because, to me, it represented hope. Yeah. Hope of better things to come. Hope that I wasn't alone mm -hmm. and that God wasn't going to leave me at the bottom, but instead come beside me and be my family. I, I can't even imagine what this visit was like, but you were recently with Franklin Graham back to Ukraine. What was that like? So many different emotions uh, going yeah. through my head, but I had this incredible opportunity to deliver that 200 millionth shoebox gift mm. to a little girl impacted by the war. And when the moment came to actually give her this shoebox, I was almost shaking with excitement because I had been waiting for this moment for so long. And she was so, so excited to get that gift. And I remember her going through that shoebox yeah. and her favorite item was just a bright yellow flashlight. Oh my, isn't that, they're both the bright yellow. Yes. <laughs> did, did you see a lot of you in, in that little girl? Oh, absolutely. I could see the joy and the hope in her eyes when she received that shoebox. And in that moment, I remember receiving mine and those are the same emotions that I felt when I got my shoebox. Mm -hmm. And you are sharing your story kind of across the area. There's a lot of different dates, but you, where, where will you be speaking uh, most recently, like tomorrow, let's say? I'm just going to be here in the greater metropolitan okay. area, kind of scattered throughout mm -hmm. different churches throughout the days. And how important is it for you to give back now? Oh, it's very important. Yeah. I mean, as someone who packed a shoebox 19 years ago for me, and I received that shoebox, and it impacted my life so much. And now being able to pack the same gifts and to deliver them to children in need, it's just an honor and a privilege for me. Yeah, absolutely. And they're going to be putting out where, where you can pack your own box and yes. you can contribute and help. Yes, absolutely. It's very simple. You can just grab any shoebox that you have in your mm -hmm. closet. You pick the gender that you want to pack for, boy or girl, and then the age group, 2 to 4, 5 to 9, 10 to 14. And then you just go shopping, and you can put in school supplies, mm -hmm. hygiene items, toys in there. We ask people to put in a wow item. That is something that a child, when they open that shoebox, they go, wow, this is amazing. And for girls, it's maybe a doll. And for boys, it could be a soccer ball. Mm -hmm. um, and so once you pack that shoebox, we ask that you drop it off during the National Collection Week, mm -hmm. which is the third week of November this year. But you can pack a shoebox any time during the year. All right. Get started. All right, Elizabeth, thank you so much for sharing your story with us this morning. We appreciate it. Absolutely. Thank you so much. Uh -huh. All right. It is Friday. We want to keep things going on the roadways. Jordan, how